I truly want to thank everybody, and I sort of was reminded of this by Yehuda. I can see him there last night. And Moshe, when we were chatting last night, that the beautiful thing about this group is each one of you, along with us, have put in this time, effort, and money into leaving everything that you're focused on your day and spending this time together on trying to work <coughs> with one another to achieve goal eight. So I really appreciate your commitment and your friendship, like Monsignor Sanchez said, which is more than anything else. And I want to keep this spirit of friendship that has been established with a lot of new friends who have met each other over here and a lot of old friends who have now gotten together to take their friendship to be more meaningful to the rest of the world as well. So that was something that I really meant and it was not just thank you very much for coming, thanks. Since we started, we have covered a lot of ground in the last 15 months. I really appreciate the enthusiasm and the commitment of the members that we've had. Uh, we've had more than 250 people who have been part of this group at some point or the other and are continuing their commitment as we're going forward. We have been looking at how to work on these five sectors and how to get these five sectors to work together. I think we are getting a bit more clarity as we go along. As we go along, we now have been looking at things from 30,000 feet above the ground. But we do need to understand how we're going to actually implement our vision of achieving these goals on the ground. That's like having the ground troops over there. So having the global sustainability network <coughs> at the global level is not complete without having the local chapters in every country where a country level or a national level GSN needs to be established. We are working through different structures as we go along. And as you may have seen from the agenda, if it is given to everybody, that this is introduction and moving forward as to how, what are the things that are going on. So I want to make sure that everybody uh, is sharing with us their thoughts on how we can improve in the way we are moving forward and we share with you and update you all as to what are the things we are adopting uh, as we're looking at future. So we are working together and we are going to work again, uh, together, talk to more lawyers, to look at what is a structure that is required, what will be the pros and cons of those structure, should we have it in a very traditional manner, or should we continue the association of friendship? What are the limitations of that? And myself, Monsignor Sanchez, and Bishop Alistair plan to meet again in March on getting, after getting advice from different uh, legal entities, and then share with you all as to what is the outcome of those discussions and those uh, studies. But in any case, how we structure ourselves legally does not stop us from moving forward globally. Uh, I am not sure if we are able to have the slide of Okay. Did you have it? Okay. So we, we have already formed this group. Within this group, we are now planning to strengthen each and every sector. There is a discussion we would like to have. Hi, Neely. Welcome, Neely. Neely has just flown in directly from U.S. after a meeting with Mr. Anne Greenspan yesterday. She took the next flight and made it here, so thanks for making it. So we are trying to 
request each sector of faith and the government, the businesses, media, nonprofits, uh, to work on NGOs to start putting their strategy together on how they want to have the global chapter. So the members who have attended regularly, I would request after this discussion and a quick update to talk about what they see their vision on business, on nonprofit, on uh, faith. So it's going to be everybody putting their thoughts or giving their thoughts, exchanging your thoughts with you. You guys are more than welcome to give your suggestions. So we want to make sure this is a very inclusive process of putting the plan together. So our strategy is finalized, but now we need to put the plan together. And while putting the plan together and by building up the charters on how to expand uh, we need to make sure that everybody is aware of what we are doing, and if there's anything we can do to improve, please feel free to update. Can we have the slide, please? Yeah, there's a technology okay. Issue. Meanwhile, I'll just sing a song to keep everybody in today. <laughs> okay, that's better. Maybe it's easier to have it in the computer. So the slide basically says, I will just tell you what it says. It's not that. Uh, complicated. We have the global board, or rather the GSN that we all are a part of. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. We have, we are trying to put together informally an executive board. We had our meeting yesterday, and most of the members who we feel are, uh, you know, involved in that area were there and we had a first round of session and amazing amount of disagreement on how to move forward and what are the things to do but the best part was that everybody was in agreement of we really need to move fast we need to move together uh, we need to have structures uh, in certain ways on execution so everybody is very very committed from the executive board. We also want to put together an advisory board at the global GSN level. Over there are global influential members who have been part of the GSN right from the beginning, who can help us access the world, the governments of the world, the philanthropists of the world, the you know, uh, businesses of the world. So we want to bring people from all areas in that global advisory board. We want to have national agendas, or rather the national chapters. We have already, and all of you would be pleased to know, that instead of just talking about ideas, we decided to just move forward to the next step, and we have already launched the first chapter in Pakistan in a very informal way pretty much trying to do the same thing GSN is doing for last one year, but doing it nationally. So last month, the founders from the Pakistan chapter, Mr. Asif Sana, Nabila, uh, and the others are not here. Uh, they were involved and we had Unilever there, we had L'Oreal there, we had the top architects, we had the advocacy groups from uh, legal who were helping uh, a lot of uh, uh, people suffering from human rights violation. We had NGOs who have freed more than 30,000 uh, bonded laborers. So we had a lot of people who had met each other for the first time and really uh, were surprised to see the magic of collaboration. And they started to try to solve their problems right then and there. So it looks like on the ground, our idea is really going to work well. But we need to define the charters. We need to protect ourselves in order to ensure nobody misuses the name of GSN. We do not intend to build an organization which does fundraising. We want to 
define our role as an organization, a network which allows people to collaborate. We support initiatives and we get people within the group and outside the group to mentor those initiatives and if necessary, if somebody wants to personally get involved financially, they can get financially involved. But as an organization, GSN is neither looking for funding nor is a donor uh, NGO which is there to give donations. So when we do the chapters in country, we want to be sure that GSN is not, or the national level GSN is not a fundraising company because that's where the problems come from. We are happy to support initiatives and the members of GSN all over are extremely influential and committed. And by influential and committed, as you can see all of us in the room, is not about money. We are not a group of billionaires who are together saying we are gonna save the world because we know how to make money. Because the world cannot be saved by just money. And here we have people from all sectors, from faith, from government, from nonprofits, from media, because we can all contribute irrespective of how much wealth we have. Because what wealth we have is not only calculated on dollars and cents, our wealth is our knowledge, our experience, our network, our effort, our time, and we appreciate all that. So that's the ethos we want to continue on the national level of GSN. I would like to ask our members, I'm not sure if we have the list over here, who have been working on different areas to start talking about uh, what they think on what is their role or what is their view on that sector. I'm going to start with requesting Mr. Shokat Aziz to talk about what can the governments do to achieve goal eight globally. <laughs> 